In this video we are going to learn about thresholding an image in Google Earth Engine. Thresholding an image means selecting a desired range of pixels. The biggest advantage of thresholding according to me is creating threshold masks. We will not discuss how to find thresholds of a feature for example water or vegetation in an image. For that I will make a dedicated video. So, without further ado let's begin. First we need boundary or shape file of our study area. I will be using the Large Scale International Boundaries LSIB Global Dataset. If we head to the table scheme of LSIB we will find the column name with the help of which we can filter our study area or polygon. I will filter Pakistan. Next, I will add Pakistan polygon to map and set it as center. After that we need an image. Remember that thresholding only works with an image. For image collection you need to create a new function and map that function over the image collection. I will load SRTM 30 meters image and clip it using my study area polygon. Now to threshold we simply add .lte or .gte after our image. LTE means less than equal to, and GTE means greater than equals to. You can also use LTGT and EQ inside the arguments we give the threshold value as integer or float. Since SRTM shows elevation values, and I want elevation areas greater than 500 meters of my study area, I will type 500 inside it. Next, I will add this new layer to map, since it's a single band image, I will give palette of colors as white and green. When I run the code the thresholded image is added to map. I will also try with 700 and 2000 meters. To make a threshold mask or mask in simple words I will use the self mask function and I will self mask the threshold with itself. Detail of self mask is given in the docs. Now I will add the mask layer to map and visualize my mask. I can also add more conditions for thresholding by adding dot and method and writing the second condition inside it. Finally I can export this mask or do different operations with it. Here I will demonstrate calculating its pixel area. I will write the code for it. If you want to learn how to calculate pixel area in Google Earth Engine please watch my video on that. That's pretty much everything from this tutorial. If you learned something please like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more interesting and beginners oriented videos. Feel free to ask me questions or queries in comments. I will see you in the next one. Peace.